Ada McGrath has not spoken since she was six years old. Around that age, she started learning to play the piano. Since then, Ada speaks in signs and expresses her moods through music. She has a daughter named Flora. She and her daughter moved to New Zealand. Ada is married to Alastair Stewart, although they have never seen each other in person. When Ada and Flora arrive and their belongings are unloaded on shore, Alastair is gone. They have to wait for him, hiding from the wind under a crinoline. Alistair goes with a guide named George Baines and the natives. When they arrive at the shore, it turns out that there is too much stuff, and they will leave the piano there. Ada protests, but she has to choose either her clothes or the instrument. The road to the house led through the woods and was quite muddy. Basically, there was a lot of mud around, because the land that Alistair traded from the natives for beads and guns was still quite wild. When Ada and Flora arrived at Alistair's house, Ada was dressed up in her wedding dress and sent out to be photographed with her husband. They didn't have a real wedding, but at least they would have a photo as a memento. Ada was cold to her spouse. She longed for her piano, which had become her second voice. She went to Baines to ask him to take them ashore. Baines had no time to deal with the lady and her daughter, but he agreed nonetheless. When they got to the beach, Ada started playing and didn't leave the piano for hours. Baines stood around listening to her music the whole time, and he was enjoying it. One day, Alistair came home and heard Flora singing. Ada was accompanying her on a non-existent piano at that moment. She had simply carved the keys on an ordinary table. This behavior alarmed Alistair. He even thought that his new wife was not in her right mind. He consulted with Aunt Morag, and she said that he should wait a little while to see if his spouse would change. Shortly thereafter, Baines offers Alistair a deal. He will trade a nice piece of land for a piano. In doing so, Ada will have to come and teach him how to play the instrument. Alistair agrees. He wants to get as much local land as he can, except that Ada was not thrilled with this news. She had to agree, for it is the only way she would be able to play again. In the meantime, Baines invited a professional to tune the piano, and when Ada and Flora came to him, the instrument was up and running. She was overjoyed, but it didn't help her and Alistair get closer. Moreover, during her next visit to Baines, something odd happened. Flora was playing outside, and Ada was sitting at her instrument when Baines tried to kiss her. Ada was frightened, but George offered her a deal. She could retrieve the piano key by key if she let him take liberties during lessons. That said, there would be no need to actually teach him how to play. After considering it for some time, Ada agreed. The next time they came, Flora wanted to watch her mother teach George, but she wouldn't let her in the house. She said Baines was embarrassed to take lessons in front of strangers. Baines, meanwhile, asked Ada to pull up her skirt. She only lifted the hem a little, but that wasn't enough for George. He insisted that the skirt should be raised higher, and then he lay down on the floor and examined everything that was normally hidden by clothing. He found the little hole in Ada's stockings and touched her skin affectionately. During one of the lessons, Baines asked her to take off her outer clothing and expose her hands. Ada obeyed. And when she sat down at the piano, Baines tried to caress her skin, but Ada changed the tune, letting him know that she was uncomfortable with his touch. While Ada was giving Baines lessons, her husband was taking care of business. He tried to negotiate with the natives to buy new land, but they were stubborn. The territory contained the graves of their ancestors, and they didn't want to give them up to an outsider. One day, Alistair asked his buddy how his lessons were going, and Baines confessed that he hadn't learned anything yet. Yet Ada told her husband that George was making progress. Alistair started being suspicious. During the next lesson, Baines started sniffing his teacher's clothes, which embarrassed her. When Ada tried to take the clothes away, Baines grabbed and kissed her, but she resisted. Then he offered her to go to bed with him for four keys. Ada refused, however. She wanted five keys for it. That way she would get closer to getting her piano back sooner. Baines agreed. When Ada lay down, he tried to fondle her again, but she left. Shortly thereafter, the locals put on a costume show. Flora participated in it as well. Baines came to the concert. The men openly mocked him for his fondness for the piano. There was a rumor that he was taking lessons, and the men thought he had softened completely. Alistair was the only one who didn't make fun of him. He even invited George to sit down next to them. The performance was so spectacular that the natives invited to the concert rushed to the stage, thinking that the real murder was about to happen. Then it took a long time to explain to them that it was all fake, and all the actors were alive. During the next lesson, Baines went all in. While Ada played the piano, he stripped naked and asked her to undress and lie in bed with him. Ada agreed to do this for ten keys. Flora was walking nearby at the time. She became curious as to what her mother was doing with this man, so she peeked through the crevice to see what they were doing. Seeing Baines naked on top of her mother, Flora decided that was the way to go. 
After that, she even started playing with the local kids, snuggling up to the trees with her private parts. She was caught doing this by Alistair. He punished her by making her wash the defiled trees. The next time Ada came to Baines's house, her piano was being taken outside. George said that Ada had paid for it in full, and now the instrument could be moved to Alistair's house. He didn't want Ada to turn into a promiscuous woman by secretly cheating on her husband, so he pushed her away. Seeing the piano being carried to him made Alistair mad. He decided that Baines had called off the deal, and now he would have to return the land. But George explained that he no longer needed the instrument, and that their deal still stood. This arrangement suited Alistair. Having left without dates with Baines, Ada understood that she had fallen in love with him. She went to see him again, and Baines admitted that he also had warm feelings for her. They indulged in passion. When Ada went to her lover, Flora tried to stop her, but her mother told her to go away. Alistair met the girl. He realized that his wife had gone to Baines, so he headed for his house. Seeing Ada spreading her legs to his mate, Alistair decided to watch, for he had not yet had intimacy with her. When the lovers were finished, Alistair climbed under the house to listen to their confessions. Baines suggested she come again if their relationship meant anything to Ada, too. The next time Ada headed toward George, Alistair caught up with her and threw her to the ground but Flora saved her from her marital duty. After that, Alistair boarded up the windows and hung a bolt on the door to keep Ada from escaping again. After a while, his wife began to sleepwalk. She sat down at the piano and began to play. Flora said this had happened before. Then Ada came into her husband's bedroom and began to caress him. This happened repeatedly, and Alistair was uncomfortable with her visits. Soon they learned that Baines was about to leave. Realizing that there was no more danger, Alistair removed the boards from the windows and told his wife that he trusted her. Yet he asked her not to go to Baines' house again. Ada fulfilled his wish, but she could not leave her lover without a farewell message either. So she removed one key from the piano, wrote about her love, and sent her daughter to Baines'. However, Flora was against their connection, so she brought the gift to Alistair. When he saw what it said, he rushed home. In a fit of jealousy, Alistair tried to smash the piano with an axe, but Ada defended her instrument. In retaliation, he chopped off her finger so that she could no longer play. He gave the finger to Flora and demanded that she take it to Baines and tell him that if they ever see each other again, he will cut off a finger every time they meet. Flora delivered the message, and Alistair began to nurse his wounded wife. At one point, she mentally spoke to him, and he heard. She asked to let her go with Baines. Alistair complied with her request. When Ada and George were sailing out of New Zealand, Ada asked to throw her piano into the water. She no longer needed it. She, Baines, and Flora started living together. George made her a new finger, and she was able to give music lessons. Ada gradually began to talk. And that's where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to watch more movie recaps videos like this.